You guys like that? That's pretty good. Welcome to Alabama's brand new state-of-the-art recruiting hall here at the University of Alabama on campus. And let me tell you guys, it's amazing. It's like I always say, you can't hide money and you can't hide wins. And this is a testament to both. If you look at the floor, just start, on, start with the floor. It is a rendering of the College Football Playoff National Championship trophy, which you see over there in the distance. And that is an immediate standard center. When these young men walk in, we have a standard here, and that is national championships. The first thing you see when you come in the door is Mark Ingram's 2009 Heisman Trophy and Derrick Henry's 2015 Heisman Trophy. In fact, if you want to, you can take a picture with them. We'll worry about that later. Come on over here. You don't win as much as Nick Saban has won without tremendous players. They've sent so many players to the NFL here at the University of Alabama, they ran out of wall space. They just don't have any more. So what they did, they used technology. As you can see, each one of the teams in the NFL is represented by its helmet. And each of these digital screens shows every single Alabama draftee ever that was drafted by that respective team. It's really cool. All of them show up. Come take a look at these numbers. Here's the numbers for Alabama's draft picks. 61 first round picks in the history of the Alabama program, 354 all time draft picks, 110 Pro Bowl selections, 54 have played in the Super Bowl, excuse me, I cannot read, 53 have played in the Super Bowl, and eight have gone on to the Hall of Fame. While this is impressive, here's what's really impressive. In the last 10 years, the Tide have sent 77 players to the NFL draft, including 26 first rounders. Wow. You have that many great players, you win a lot of hardware. Look how cool this is. On this backside wall, they have all of the championship rings during Alabama's history, and I love this. This is a 2017 program-issued national championship ring. Bama not only gets the college football playoff championship ring, which you'll, you'll see right here, but they also issue their own within the program. The CFP model always has the CFP logo on it, logo on it and a whole lot of diamonds. Bama wants the script A, because of course they do. Here's the program issued 2015 model, absolutely gorgeous. And here is the CFP issued 2015 model. Can you guys see that all right? Look at this, that's only part of the bling that's going on around here. There are rings all the way down this wall from SEC championships, from national championships, on and on. As you come around the corner here, you can see the 1992 national championship ring from the title that was won under coach Gene Stallings. That was an iconic football team, a really great group. And as we make our way all the way down this wall, you see more rings. There's not nearly as many diamonds as there used to be. In fact, this 1961 group, they had, look at that, they had one big fat diamond right there in the middle. And all the way down here to the 1925 ring with Coach Wallace Wade when the Tide won that title. That's not all the hardware. If you look down this wall, it is loaded with hardware. All the trophies from the individual awards that Crimson Tide players have won. This is Amari Cooper's 2014 Fred Bolitnikoff Award. Right here is Derrick Henry's 2015 Walter Camp College Football Player of the Year Award. Right here is the Maxwell Award. Henry won that as well in 2015. A.J. McCarron won it in 2013. McCarron won the Johnny Unitas Golden Arm Award in 2013. Derrick Henry won the Doak Walker Award for the nation's best running back, on and on. You can see it goes all the way down this wall. Now here's the stats. This stat kind of blew my mind. When Nick Saban showed up on campus here back in 12 years ago, 12 seasons ago, the Alabama Crimson Tide had six national award winners ever, ever in the history of the program. During his tenure alone, there have been 27 national award winners. Crazy. No wonder they win so much around here. Speaking of winning, let me just show you real quick before we go what they're winning. Five national championships during Saban's tenure here. In fact, five in the last nine seasons. 2009 BCS National Championship trophy right over my right shoulder. 2011, right here. 2012, right there. 2015, the first time the Tide won the new format, college football playoff national championship. And then, of course, last year's thriller against Georgia. Uh, right here is that trophy. And I can take a picture with it, too. And since I'm here, I think I should probably do that. Watch this. 
Let me show you guys how you take a picture with this thing. We'll use no frame. We'll go right there, tap that icon to take a couple photos, and then all you do is pose. I think I should do a Heisman pose. What do you guys think? Does that look good? Does that look like the Heisman? I think it does. Maybe some gun show. Okay. All right, it's taking all my pictures. We're all done. Now I get to choose which I like that. I'm going to send that picture to myself. I'm not going to let you guys see my email. So I'm going to put this in while I bid you guys adieu. How crazy is this place? It's absolutely amazing. And it's just such, it's another testament to what's going on in college football right now. These programs are constantly trying to one up one another in the recruiting game to show these young men that they need to come to that particular school. In Bama, they point to these. <laughs>